Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather and this is The Happenings with HAP. <music> coffee so i'm ready to settle in i want to say first a thank you to all the subscribers that have been staying with me not unsubscribing even though i have been uploading very sporadically i've had a lot going on in my life and i figured that i would tell you what's been happening and give you guys a little life update it's nothing drastic or crazy but there are some things that are going to be changing which is also really exciting and i wanted to make a little video about it but just to give you guys like what's going on and where i've been and all that kind of good stuff i've been uploading but it's just been very very sporadically as i said in my last video that i posted i am now fully vaccinated i live in new york and had the pfizer vaccine and i got it rather early i had my second dose in march so that second dose took me out for a good week like i was did not feel very well i had pre-filming that i had done which was that february wrap-up i had filmed that a while ago but i just had no energy to edit or do anything and definitely no energy or anything to film so that took me out for a while but i am now fully vaccinated i don't have to worry about covid and that is like a huge weight off of my shoulders and also means that i can probably do some fun things and see my friends this summer and that makes me super excited too hopefully where you're at you are able to get vaccines and i encourage you to if you are eligible it is not that bad and everyone has had different reactions i have had friends that got sick with the first and the second i've had friends that only got sick with the first and I like myself only felt sick with the second not with the first it's not a fun week but I'd rather have that than COVID so that was something that kind of took me out secondly I recently had an interview for a I don't want to say internship because it's not it's basically through my current job but it would be doing something else so it is kind of an internship but I'm still getting paid my normal amount but it would be with the corporate arm of the company that i work for and would mean that i would get to work from home for six months from june to november which would be really cool so i had the interview i think it went well i hope it went well i should find out about that soon but i was definitely busy preparing for it because it was a like zoom call type of an interview so i had to end up looking nice for that and not and i didn't feel like filming and i was worried about that so hopefully i find out about that soon because i will start mid-june if that's the case which should be really fun because then that means I won't have to be on an overnight schedule for a while and as much as I do like working overnight for a lot of benefits that it gives me sometimes it's nice to have a mix-up last year we had the quarantine and I went to back to normal life and if I get this at least it'll be the summertime which means I can do things for the summer and that'll be really nice too so I'm hoping I get it we shall see and then third probably the biggest one is that I have been apartment hunting I have lived in my current apartment that you see here for the last 11 years I live with roommates and I've been trying to find a studio apartment for myself right now in New York prices have dropped significantly especially in Manhattan and areas of Queens and areas of Brooklyn like lowest they've been in a decade plus so I am taking advantage of that and it's been a little difficult because I you know here you have to make like 40 times the rent and they want all these, this information and it can be very intimidating and I've never done this on my own. When I first moved here, I answered an ad on Craigslist and luckily I'm very close to New York so I could travel and see the place myself. And I was basically going into a long-term sublease, sublet situation. And the girl that I lived with then is actually one of my closest friends still now. Like I went to her wedding and all that stuff. So like, it was a great experience. And we moved, we moved here to this apartment together in like 2010. So I've had a bunch of roommates come through ever since she you know got married and all that stuff and left and it's just it's time like I've been living with roommates my entire adult life when I wasn't living at home and I feel like for my own mental health I need to live alone and you know I've been trying and now is like I was like it's the perfect time to do this now because prices aren't going to be this low forever I was looking for places in the neighborhood I live in more uptown in Queens so I was looking at a bunch of different places I did put an application for one place that would have been a few blocks away but would have been like a fifth floor walk up but I thought the apartment was really nice but that ended up being like a weird situation where I didn't get it because they gave it to a tenant that already 
already lives in the building. And then those same brokers took me to another place like further down, but roughly in the same area of the city. And that place was not worth the money that they were trying to charge for it at all. Always go see the apartments first, for sure. The week after that, last week, I did a self showing. It was actually an apartment that I had seen on Street Easy, which is where I've gotten all these listings. I saw on Street Easy months and months ago, it had the building saved because the apartment looked really cute, but I wasn't able to move at that time because my lease wasn't up. I did a self showing. I really liked it. So I put an application for it. And I can say that I have officially signed the lease, put down the deposit, and I now will have my own studio apartment. So they accepted me, I was approved, and me and Theo are going to be in our own place together. I am so, so excited about that. <laughs> like, I'm super nervous and scared because it's gonna be a very different chapter, a new chapter in my life. It, it is more expensive than what I'm currently paying for where I live now, which makes sense. And I'm super, super excited. And I want to thank all of my friends that have offered to help me move because I love them so much and I still can't believe that they offered. So I will be moving most likely in May. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to be reading in May. I'm not sure how my posting schedule will be, but I will try to do batch filming as much as I can. My lease officially starts May 1st. So I'm currently going through things and decluttering clothes and other stuff. I decluttered paperwork last weekend and it took me two hours and it was like 15 pounds of paperwork of just old things from like college and other stuff that I just kept. I'm definitely not a hoarder, but I just save things sometimes for sentimental reasons or because I think I'm gonna look at it again, but did I look at any anything in those boxes for the last 10 years. I did not. Next up is like gonna be clothes, which I have a lot of clothes that I again have for sentimental reasons or hopeful reasons or because I did like them at one time, but I've literally not worn them in years. So I'm gonna be going through because the apartment only has one big closet. I'm gonna have very limited space and have to, you know, prioritize certain things, which I think will also help me with spending money and not, you know, just buying stuff because there's a sale. I have a bad habit of that. There will still be bookish content on here, but I probably will include some maybe decluttering or moving things or stuff like that because I think that might be pretty entertaining. If you're interested in that, please let me know down below, um, but I'll probably do it anyway because it is a new chapter in my life and it's something I would love to document. That's been what's going on in my life, but that's why I haven't really been uploading much because I've been doing other things on my days off and I only have three days off, which sounds like a lot to catch up on some sleep and then do errands and other things. It can be difficult to film and edit, but I am making this video so this will go up and I'm also filming another one today as well that will go up the next week. So you will have videos coming. I'm also watching the Shadow and Bone series on Netflix so far and really enjoying it. So I will most likely do a video on that as well. And you know, there's gonna be more stuff down the pipeline. Bye. I just wanted to give you guys a little insight into what's been going on with my life. And like I said, I'll probably do, you know, maybe like an empty apartment tour, maybe some decluttering, moving. And then when I get everything all done, I'll definitely do like a fully done apartment tour because I'm super excited. It's it's so cute and perfect for just me and Theo and I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are too and that means I have to think of a filming setup there. I'm gonna have a new setup probably come June and that's super exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you want to continue to stay up to date on what's been going on with me and and of course the bookish content will be returning. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.